Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading we are going to find out who will you be in your next serious relationship with. Today is the 19th of December 2022, time is 2.14am. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for air signs. And if you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same air sign, okay? Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Who will they be in your next serious relationship with? Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody who works a lot, okay? I feel like this is somebody, uh, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus with the King of Pentacles here in reverse. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, Scorpio, King of Cups. Could be any fire sign as well, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like this is somebody who doesn't really like to socialize. Three of Cups in reverse, so doesn't like to party uh, too much. I think this is someone very contented, just doing things on their own, staying home. <laughs> Definitely a homebody with the Nine of Cups here. They don't like to waste time partying, socializing. Um, I think that's because they try to improve their finances, their career with the Five of Pentacles. Very overwhelmed with work. Again, Ace of Wands in reverse. Definitely somebody who is not, you know, who doesn't like screw around. <laughs> doesn't screw around and the nine of wands because they are very protective um, of themselves and also very protective of their time the, the effort or their energy i see this is someone who doesn't like to again waste time um, because i think there is something that they want to achieve here which i feel with the six of wands can indicate that they're going to be somebody very successful eventually if they're not successful yet okay um, Six of Wands also can indicate this person has leadership qualities, uh, definitely a fighter, somebody who, um, I feel like this is somebody who has some sort of, what, what's that word, tenacity, like whatever that they want to achieve in their life, they will, they will get it, they will achieve it, that's because, again, they will prioritize prioritize this is someone who is gonna say okay for this whole year I'm not gonna go out I'm not gonna have fun I'm not gonna drink I'm not gonna party um you know I'm just gonna focus on my work and work alone and because that's something that they want to achieve right it can be work it can be anything anything else that they would like to achieve in their life so this is an overachiever right six of wands here again but also can indicate that he or she is somebody who many people look up to, admire, or well, that they may actually have a lot of a lot of admirers. But I see them, even though liking the attention, but not really, not really taking it very seriously. I would say it could also be somebody who's like, okay, I kind of know that you know I'm good looking, or that you know I have many admirers. But I feel like this is someone who doesn't really want to pursue it, or doesn't really care even if they they know that they they get a lot of attention from people um the reason why i'm reading it that way is because of all of these cards here although six of ones can indicate somebody who is quite proud who can be quite proud maybe i think this is someone uh who is proud of their work or would like people to be proud of uh, what they what they give or what they can offer in life or in work in in a work situation or career. 
Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Cups, okay? This is possibly somebody, air signs, that I feel, um, you know, it could be your wish. Nine of Cups, somebody that you could be wishing for, or, or this person is just like, when you meet this person, if you haven't met this person yet, then you wouldn't quite resonate, okay? Some of you maybe have already met this person. If you already have met this person, you know, or you, if you, even if you haven't yet, there's someone who's like, you know, I'm good being alone. I'm good being a bachelor or bachelorette. <laughs> but when they do fall in love, which both of you will end up falling in love with each other, um, King of Cups indicates when they love, they love so deeply, right? Hence, they could be quite picky or quite selective, and they rather love themselves first. They love themselves first and the most, <laughs> nine of cups. For them to share their heart with somebody, it's it's not easy, but I think eventually they will, okay? This is a successful union because of the six of wands here. Could turn into a connection where both of you will end up getting married, perhaps. Nine of cups, see? Some of you could be in the same gender relationship, not all of you. Uh, a bit of a gap here, uh, age gap, but not big. Some age gap or some something different. Both of you may be quite different, but also similar at the same time. I hope that makes sense to you. Eight of Wands can indicate either this person is very famous uh, or could be famous online or famous in what they do, in their craft, in their skills, in their work. And... Um, or just somebody whom you know a lot of people look up to, definitely a successful person, um, or that they may have a successful career, uh, or will have a successful career in the future, because it feels like there could be some struggles here. Maybe this person comes from poverty, may not have been rich, may, may have like a poor background, but then eventually becoming successful with the six of wands here. Eight of wands can indicate this connection could be an ongoing connection or it could it could be coming in very quickly, okay? Eight of wands some, sometimes and the two of wands can indicate maybe this person is of a different ethnicity or could be um, living in a different country or somebody who travels a lot or somebody who likes to travel, okay, or travel for work. Knight of Cups, this person, you know, it's, a, it's a, there is a very dreamy energy I'm getting here. When you first meet this person, or when you, some of you again, if you already met this person, you will feel like that's a very dreamy energy. It's like, wow, <laughs> Knight of Cups. It could indicate love at first sight as well for some of you. Um, that's a fast attraction. I, I think when you meet this person, you're going to be like, wow, this is the guy of my dreams. Or this person may see you as, wow, this is the girl of my dreams, okay? I'm going to pull out a few of these oracles. This person is younger than you are, you could be younger than them, or somebody could be could have a very childlike personality. Uh, or may, maybe this person already has children, or you have children, or wanting children in the future, or not wanting children in the future, right? Deception, and we've got healing family issues, we've got honeymoon, yeah, maybe this person was deceived before in the past, yeah. Uh, or you may have been deceived before in the past. There's something about uh, somebody's past here. When I say somebody, that means it could be you or this person. But deception, I feel like maybe this person guards are up nine of wands because they may have been lied to or cheated on. Maybe they've been put in a third party situation with the three of cups here in reverse. Hence, they may have a bit of a trust issue uh, or trusting, um, giving their heart to just anybody. But when they do, again, when they love, they love deeply. Or well, this person may make you feel in the beginning that you couldn't trust them, but then eventually it does feel like you're going to um, put your heart on the line for this person, okay? Again, it could go vice versa. Um, yeah, let's see. Trust. I want to God stay optimistic. So this is... Um, I feel like trust will be built over time between the two of you here. 
And this could be a very positive union, stay optimistic, or somebody needing to heal trust issues from their past. There could be some obstacles here in this connection because of trust issues, okay? But Spirit's definitely encouraging you to stay optimistic and to feel, you know, um, to not, you know, it could be you or this person, but either one of you will have to trust and uh, stay optimistic in this relationship in order for it to work. Yeah, mm. all right, air signs, this is your reading. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. I just saw 1010. Check out your angel number if you want to. Um, I will leave you... I think I've already said that with a, couple, with a couple of playlists. Check them out if you want to. And I yeah, upload your pictures almost every single day, sometimes even twice a day. And I upload them right away once I'm done with all of the readings. So they're, they're very up to date. They're very, very new, okay? These, uh, all of these videos that I post every single day. And I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care, air signs. Bye.